Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here and welcome to today's video. So today's video, I just want to give you a little glimpse into why I love Casio so much, why I love Linux so much and why I'm so happy now that Windows 11 24H2 has dropped to not be forced to using Microsoft Windows. So you already know that Star Wars the old republic runs beautifully i love the fact that you can buy yourself into a whole franchise and by and large it just works some of the really older games well you need mods in order to make them widescreen or you could take my view and leave them 4x3 retro which is quite nice actually when you're playing the game but nevertheless, Star Wars The Old Republic, that runs beautiful on Cache OS. Um, the next one I want to have a look at is Star Wars Empire at War. Now, I just want to say that if I played all of these games as a series, I probably wouldn't have enough hours left on the Earth, let alone all the other games that I've got. And um, I do feel very spoiled, but you should all know that all of these games have been bought over a long period of time. And I tend to only buy games when they're on sale in the Steam Workshop. So that's why I've got so many games. Um, I don't or haven't played all of them. Uh, I do keep collecting them. It's almost like... Um, any collector with an obsession for stamps or car parts or, you know, anything else, really. Uh, it is an obsession, definitely. Just making sure we've got audio. Yeah, we have. That's good. Uh, and you should have audio. So this is Star Wars Empire at War. I bought this. I've never played it. I've got no idea what it's about. Um... But of course, it's got the uh, the Star Wars moniker on it. So, um, and it runs beautiful. I don't want this to be a super long Star video. Wars, Empire at War. Your goal in this game is clear: take control of planets, conquer the Star Wars galaxy, and become the ultimate galactic commander. You have the ability to command everything from individual troops to starships, and even the mighty Death Star as you fight on the ground, wow. in space, and across the entire galaxy. How you do it is up to you. Will you repeat Star Wars history, or will you change it forever? So I'm assuming this is a kind of... The time to decide is now. The Empire is launching an assault on the rebel base on Kashyyyk. To prepare you for the challenges of conquering the Star Wars galaxy, <laughs> we are going down to the surface of Kashyyyk to show you how to take command of your land units to repel this invasion. So I'm assuming this is a strategic RPG type game. Yeah. Wow. Well. Imperial forces have detected wow. a rebel presence here on the surface of Kashyyyk. You will need to gather your troops and defend the Alliance base on this planet. So is this like a Red Alert Commander Conquer? And ground units like these rebel soldiers who are currently on patrol. Company of Heroes, that sort of type game, I'm guessing. critical that you also understand how to use the command bar. To view the entire battlefield, use the Okay, so I think we've... Um, Prove the process that the gap that game runs absolutely beautifully. Okay, so the next one is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I've left this um, on original 4x3. Um, I've heavily modded it with new textures and new character models. But I've left the... Rather than doing the widescreen fix, which I would normally do... I've kind of left it on 4x3 uh, to really give an old world impression. I have upgraded all the um, 
movie clips and all the cutscenes to HD, so they're really nice quality. But I kind of feel that having it in 4B3, rather than doing the widescreen fix, um, actually looks really, really nice. Let's have a look at the intro movie. All right, okay, so it's just going to be that. So we'll skip that, and we've got only got the credits. That's because um, this is a fresh install, and it thinks I've not played it. Uh, okay, so let's start a new game. Oh, it doesn't matter what, does it? Uh, quick character, change the portrait. These should all be upgraded. Okay, we'll have her. Name can be, yeah, Brianna. We'll have a bit of Brianna. And <clears throat> let's see how the game runs on Casio OS. These are all really, really old games. There's some um, old games, but not so old games, if you know what I mean. And there's some AAA titles as well. Um, some I still haven't installed because I've just not had the time I could... Oh god, it took me forever to install my whole library. Um, and I'm constantly adding new games and deciding what games I want to try out and want to play. But in the background... We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up. We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Bastila is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I've heard all about your reputation. Elite combat training tops in your class. It's no wonder you were handpicked for this mission. Word is the officers haven't seen a recruit with your kind of potential in 20 years. But all that potential doesn't mean a thing if you can't deliver when it counts. We're soldiers. We're trained for combat. Bastil is going to need men and women like us at her side during this attack. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Okay, so the other beauty of not widescreen in the game, not only does it feel really old because it's in 4 by 3 but of course all the UI works you can read the text because <laughs> it's nice and big on screen okay so I'm going to quit this <clears throat> now what I was saying is that um, I'm delighted with the job that the Cache OS team are doing in the background um, in that this has a billion updates every day and they always install nice and smoothly I do do a time shift backup before I install updates in case there's an issue. Um, so that's the only really drudge of the operating system because you're using bleeding cutting edge software from everything from the kernel to drivers to the applications to packages. You know, there is a, a ton of updates to do literally every day. Okay, next game is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And of course, right out of the box, this runs in widescreen, so you don't need to patch it. <clears throat> Again, I have HD upgraded all the graphics and other bits and pieces, but I try and um, remain true to the game by not putting game-changing mods in them. Um... And again, really, my overriding feeling is that the Casio X experience is indistinguishable from running this on Microsoft Windows. It's absolutely fantastic. So again, if we go in to movies, I'm sure I have upgraded all these to 1287-20HD. Um, so they should look really nice on your screen. Rather than being pixelized, the old republic is crippled. I think I've already shown this video on YouTube. Um, tractor beam to Pergasus. So, as you can see, it's nice quality, it's not pixeled, it's not blown up, it's nice. 
Um, it's not 4K, it's not 8K, it's 720p, but it's nice. And it just makes the game feel a little bit better quality. And again, as I say, I've put a ton of HD textures in there. Um, but not actually altered the gameplay. I have restored the original content. Um, and again, this is all available via the Steam Workshop. And the Steam Workshop is one of your best friends when it comes to modded games. So the next one is Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. Um, and again, with this one, I've not gone for the big overhaul mod. I've left it in its original state to be enjoyed as it was originally released. Again, in 4x3. Um, whereas the conversion mod wide screens it automatically i just feel that the 4x3 format gives it a little bit more of nostalgia uh, and makes you feel like you're playing the game back in 2003 or whenever rather than modern day 2024 um, this one i've not textured i've not upgraded anything this one is utterly vanilla um, but I think what this video is demonstrating is just how reliable Cache OS is. I know that's going to go to a cutscene. Anyway, these all work um, beautifully. They really do. So that's kind of like the real old batch of Star Wars games. So let's go for something a little bit newer with Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Do, I do have the original, but this is the second iteration of it. Uh, looks like it's the first time run as well, which is fine. But as I say, I mean, the experience is very Windows-esque in that you double-click on an icon and something happens. Okay, whether that something is what you want is another matter... And it's, it's so mind-blowingly good because your kind of daily routine is run your updates, do your backup, run your updates, play your games, you're done. Uh, um, and again, it, it just it just does this. Um it just works. You don't have to do anything, really. Um, you, you, all you need to do, really, is just enjoy the pants out of your games. Now, some of these are running off NVMe SSD. Some of them are running off of SATA SSD. And some are running off 7200 spin um, hard drive so some take longer to load than others but you know as long as you've got a little bit of patience um, it's a little bit like playing these games back in the day actually it's just fantastic and let's do this Uh, as you can see, I've not played this game at all. Uh, I don't know what the space is. Oh, I love it. Wow, check this guy out. And we've got him. Froze. Froze did. He, he key to unfreezed. Well, I'm sure with a bit of practice you could be 
really, really impressive at this game. Uh, and it's fantastic. So, there you go. So, that's that game running absolutely beautiful. I don't really want to save the game, really. Uh, do I want to exit the game? Yes, please. Okay. So, that's the Force Unleashed. And last but not least, I've got the Jedi Fallen Order. I have got uh, Battlefront 2. I'm totally out of touch, which is what is, you know, cutting edge, brand new and up to date, and what is oldie boldy. I've no idea. But nevertheless, I'm just trying to um, prove the process that across all these different titles, they just run flawlessly on Cache OS Linux without me basically having to do anything and i'm sorry that it looks like this is going to download some stuff so i'll perhaps showcase the jedi order in another video i'll let this carry on downloading stuff uh, we're not going to have an half an hour video while this downloads that's for sure but nevertheless cache os or you know mx linux or linux mint or ubuntu linux they're all fantastic bases and fantastic options for people to get off of Windows and get onto an operating system that is primarily yours. You can do with it what the hell you like, unlike Windows. You can customize it how you want it to work. And you can rest assured that, you know, hopefully your library of games will run beautifully on the operating system in a very Windows esque fashion yes i know there are certain games that just won't work on linux but there are other options for that should you desperately want to be on on linux itself as opposed to windows as your base well there you go everybody i hope you've enjoyed the video thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe thumb the videos up if you loved it down if you hated it i will see you for another wicked broken ebes video